Hi there. So in the previous session, we exactly understood how to calculate forward price. And at the very same time, uh, whenever there, uh, the no arbitrage principle is getting violated, how do we exactly, you know, make arbitrage profit out of it, whereby we're not investing anything from our pockets, but yet we are able to make some profits at the end of the tenure of the forward contract. So now here, what we are going to look at is what exactly if we relax the assumption of no cost and no, uh, no benefits. All right, we know that whenever there are costs involved with a forward contract, we add it to the uh, price. And at the very same time, whenever there are benefits involved, we subtract it. All right, so I'm going to take an example of a equity forward contract. So in that equity forward contract, what we're going to discuss is that there are discrete dividends. Now, since you're going to discuss discrete dividends, these are nothing but what? But benefits. And since they are benefits, what are we going to do with that? We're going to subtract it. All right. I'm hoping everybody remembers this from the level one that the forward price is basically calculated using the spot price and at the very same time we add the cost and we subtract the benefits. So dividends are nothing but benefits that are involved with any particular asset class that we are looking here. All right. So say for example, I'm standing here. Uh, we are talking about a three month forward contract and there are going to be dividends declared or there are going to be dividends that the investors are going to receive after 1.5 months. All right. So this particular dividend is to be subtracted, uh, is, is to be subtracted to figure out the forward price. But how exactly is to be done is something that we'll understand. All right. So the formula is pretty simple that to calculate the forward price of an equity security uh, where we have dividends involved, we start with the spot price, we subtract the PVD. Now what is PVD? PVD is the present value of dividends. All right. PVD is nothing but the present value of dividends or right, that is something that we need to subtract and we multiply that by 1 plus rf to the power t all right so quite simple quite easy to understand now why the present value because see you're starting with the spot price that is here at time period zero you're talking about the dividends that comes here all right that is at time period 1.5 so the timeline should match right you're taking something that starts at time period zero and you're also considering something that is at uh, 1.5 months so what you need to do is you need to bring this back to zero all right that is you need to bring back the dividend to time period zero. So what exactly you need to do, say for example, there is a dividend of $1. So you need to take out the present value of this $1 and bring it back to time period zero. So say for example, if the risk free rate is 5%, so it would be 1 plus 1 upon 0 0.5 to the power. Uh, if you're talking about 1.5 months, that is 45 days, 45 divided by 365. All right, so you have to bring it back and then you have to subtract it because we know that we have to subtract the benefits, but at the very same time, the timeline is also very important that when exactly are we going to get those benefits? Whenever we are getting those benefits, we need to make sure that we are having the same timeline as per the spot price. So the spot price minus the present value of dividends multiplied by 1 plus RF to the power T. Multiplied by 1 plus RF to the power T. All right, so quite simple. Uh, if you break this formula, it is quite simple. S naught into 1 plus RF to the power T minus PVD into 1 plus to the uh, 1 plus RF to the power T. All right. So PVD into 1 plus to the uh, 1 plus RF to the power T is nothing but FVD. FVD is what? Future value of dividends. FVD is nothing but future value of dividends. All right. So that is something that is simple because see, up, you had the dividend value here. What you need to do, what you have to do to calculate the future value of dividend is you simply have to take the dividend value here. However, even if you do not remember this formula, that is fine. All you can do is work out things with this formula and you can figure out the forward price. All right. So now I'm going to take an example, all right, whereby we'll be talking about dividends that are coming in, uh, coming during the timeline of the forward contract. And at the very same time, how exactly you can calculate the price of the forward contract. So it is a 100 day forward contract where after 15 days, you'll be getting a dividend of 0.4, not you exactly, but the equity security has a dividend of 0.4. Uh, 85 on the 85th day, there's another dividend of 0.4 dollars. All right. And then we have the 100th day when the contract expires, which contract the forward contract expires. So you're standing at time period zero. All you need to do is calculate the forward price. All right. You're expected to calculate what the forward price. Now, ex how exactly will you do that? We have a risk rate of 5% and we have a spot rate of $30. That is fine. All right. So forward price is calculated as spot price minus present value of dividend into one plus RF to the power T. All right. So to do that, we have the spot price that is $30 minus present value of dividends that we do not have. 
इंटू वन प्लस वन प्लस आर एफ आर एफ इज फाइव परसेंट वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव टू दी पावर टी टी इज नथिंग बट हंड्रेड डेज और टी इज नथिंग बट हंड्रेड डेज बट सिंस एवरीथिंग दैट गोज योर गोज इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ इयर्स सो टू डू दैट वी कैन सिंपली डिवाइड हंड्रेड बाई थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव और इट इनफैक्ट फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स विल नॉट यूज मंथ्स थ्री अपॉइंट ट्वेल्व फाइव अपॉइंट ट्वेल्व सिक्स अपॉइंट ट्वेल्व राधा विल यूज डेज अपॉन डेज और राधा डेज अपॉन थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव सो हियर वी हैव हंड्रेड डेज एंड दैट इज हाउ वी हैव डन इट योर हंड्रेड अपॉन थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव और इट सो दैट इज हाउ इट एक्जैक्टली वर्क आउट और इट सो नाउ वन थिंग दैट वी नीड टू फिगर आउट इज द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ डिविडेंड्स और इट सो देर आर टू डिविडेंड्स दट आर कमिंग ड्यूरिंग द टाइम लाइन सो ऑन द फिफ्टीन डे वी हैव पॉइंट फोर डॉलर्स सो वी हैव टू ब्रिंग इट योर और इट एंड ऑन द एटी फिफ्थ डे वी अगेन हैव पॉइंट फोर डॉलर्स सो वी हैव टू ब्रिंग दैट टू योर All right. Both of them should come at time period zero because we, at the end of the day, want to calculate the present value of dividends. So, point four divided by one plus zero point zero five to the power fifteen upon three sixty five plus point four upon one plus zero point zero five to the power eighty five upon three sixty five. All right. So that is how exactly you calculate the present value of dividends, and you'll get this number. All right. If you do that, so first you need to you know make sure that you have the value of fifteen upon three sixty five. and then you can simply use 1.0 uh, 1.05 to the power 15 upon 365 whatever the number comes all right so you get the present value of dividends here now you have the spot price here all right standing here and at the very same time you also have the present value of dividends here all right so everything is at time period zero you need to calculate the uh, forward price that is standing at time period zero what should be the price of the contract at time period 100 so for that you'll use this formula All right, the formula that we have been learning so far that is S not minus PVD into one plus RF to the power T. So S not is nothing but thirty. Uh, PVD is nothing but point seven nine four six. Again, how did we arrive at this? We have made sure that whatever dividends are coming during the tenure of the forward contract. All right, there might be a dividend after hundred day as well, but I am not considering that. Only the ones during the tenure of the forward contract, the, those dividends only are we considering here. All right, so thirty minus point seven nine four six. Into one plus zero point zero five to the power hundred upon three sixty five. When you uh, do the calculation, you'll receive or you'll get the forward price as twenty nine point six dollars. All right, you'll get the forward price as twenty nine point six dollars. This answer would have been much more different given we were not using any benefits uh, during the calculation of the forward price. So this is how exactly it works around. All right, wherever you felt that there is a need where you need to pause the video and make sure that you are looking at uh, that you are calculating things on your own, please do that. Because I have tried to simplify things for you, I have made sure that I have done the calculations for you already, so that you understand it pretty fast. But yes, uh, doing it on your own, the calculations especially, is very much important. So make sure that you're doing it while you're solving the questions with me. Thank you.